Good evening, guys. As you see, it's evening. Look how big Night Fury is actually getting. Remember Night Fury is just a little tiny Texas tan sling? I haven't been seeing Night Fury in a couple weeks. And I was sitting here feeding all the little ones fruit flies. Considering summer and winter are still tiny, and winter is also another Texas tan of mine. And then Night Fury actually finally came out, and it's like, bam. <coughs> I think someone else is gonna be getting an upgrade. I'm gonna be getting Night Fury one of these little. Well, actually, you no. Know I'm gonna give Night Fury this one because this one is my Trinidad Saffron Viper, which I'm still trying to find a long cage for because I can't put it in one of those yet because that's that's way too big. <laughs> Way too massive. But I wasn't trying to keep it in those little Dixie pots either, because that's not fair. But they're doing beautifully in here. Even though they are arboreal, yes. But I made it so where it can climb and web up this whole thing if it wants to. And I have easy access, obviously, from the top. But I think our little Night Fury is next. I'm actually, seriously, and honestly, I'm impressed because I was not expecting Night Fury to come bolting out looking like a little monstrosity out of nowhere. So, I am really happy about that. MJ's. I did redid MJ's cage. <laughs> I got a cute little thing going on here for MJ. Even though know, MJ is like tiny still. So, MJ's not really burrowing. Like the other tarantulas, it is a Mexican red knee. And I noticed with some Mexican red knees, some people, not all, that they don't always burrow so much when they're little. Even when they're bigger, they don't burrow so much. This is only temporary. It's cage ain't staying like this, of course. This is just because it's a baby. But I got sticks in there. I got branches. I've got a big hide in there it can go into it could come out at so many accessing points that way just to make it feel safe but it's been crawling all over this thing it's been loving this cage because earlier what happened was <laughs> i got stuck putting night fury back into um a one of these containers because my my shipment came Right, this is a this is a messed up part, guys. My shipment came before my appointment, and the problem is, I was not expecting my one tarantula that was supposed to be a sling. Well, end up not being a sling. Don't worry, my pumpkin patch is a sling. I'm just trying to find out where it is. My pumpkin patch is definitely a sling. But, here's my issue. The avicular avicularum. <laughs> it was supposed to be a baby. Where is it at? Is this the cage I have it in? I have so many cages right now. The avicular avicularum is not a baby. Because you see my problem. I was like, uh. I had a sling pot already and cute and done up as I showed you guys. And the regular, regular goes like, bam. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not a baby. <laughs> so, I the only one I was able to take out. It's how big everybody else is. It's like, ah, MJ. So I took MJ out because luckily MJ was still sitting in the, the water dish. So I pulled the water dish out and stuck him in a, her or him. I stuck them in a, a, one of the little pots and I ran off to my appointment. Then I ran to the pet store afterwards because I had to get another one of these real quick because I'm not keeping my Vicular, Vicular, or MJ in a, a sling, the little sling pots. And I'm like, oh, well, this is just great, guys. It's just great. So now I gotta find, not only do I gotta find an arboreal cage like that for Viper, but I gotta get one for the avicular aviculara. So it's like, uh, that's, that's just peachy. Oh, it's eating a cricket. 
It has a cricket between its mouth there. That's eating its meal. I'm gonna let it go. We'll just not bother them. That is Moonbin. I need that one for Moonbin. There's one Sun Fire. Where's Sana? I put Sana pot somewhere. Uh, oh, the, I put Sana over here. If anybody knows anything about K-pop, when the uh, Astro, Astro is one of my favorite bands, and Sana is in here. Sana is a baby. Is the baby Trinidad pink tail, and of course, Sunfire is the pumpkin patch. I thought Sunfire is a cute name for a pumpkin patch. So I can't name it pumpkin because I already named my Vicular Vicular pumpkin because the only reason I named it pumpkin is because that avicular was originally supposed to be a pumpkin patch they didn't have them and they didn't tell me until i got my order and i found out and they gave me an avicular instead of a pumpkin patch because they were the same price which i was okay with so you know it didn't bother me none but yeah so many mix-ups right there sauna sauna is not in its bin. Hold on. I knew I missed it earlier. I wasn't sure if I grabbed it or not. Alright, hold on. Crap, it's so tiny. I don't even know if I got it in the... In there or not. Stupid fruit flies. I thought it was actually in there and it's still, it was still in here. Because I thought earlier... Because I don't like the flimsiness of this container. So, I switched the containers and I thought I moved it on the plant earlier and then I put uh, fruit flies in here thinking it was still in here and then luckily I picked up this container and it was still on the in the dirt because it's so freaking tiny I still caught it climbing up the side I don't know if I got it in that container or not I'm gonna have to double check I don't know if it jumped in there or not, or if it went back down into the dirt. Ah, uh, God, this is so difficult. I'm not seeing it. But see, the problem is, like I said, it's really tiny. It's like, like tiny, 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 tiny. And I mean, like my baby Arizona blondie. Well, it's like sky tiny. That's how tiny it is. So it's hard to see. It's hard. I can't dig around in here because I have stupid fruit flies in here. Just my luck. We'll see if it pops up anywhere. If not, then it still has to be in the dirt in that container. <sighs> Sorry, I thought it jumped in, but that only knows. Uh, this is gonna make me mad. Hey, hold on, guys. I gotta figure out where this little sling is. I'll be back in a second. Bessie, Bessie! Oh, we are sneezing today. She's like, don't film me, I'm eating. Good afternoon, guys. So, I just changed my rack around. I put all tarantulas on this rack. Well, except for my beta, I can't move because the plug's right there. But, yeah, I moved precious off of here because next week is supposed to be, like, warm so i'm gonna have to put on the actual cold air right now it's just on fan but because it's only it's 60 degrees out but it still gets kind of warm in here because of course the lamps and everything but i had to move precious because precious can't sit right here because i don't need precious freezing because it's a baby crested gecko so this whole rack except for my poor little indigo over here is all tarantulas i put wednesday actually over here so that way, we can actually see my girl more often. Because it's so depressing to try to feed Wednesday and she runs right back down to our burrow. I'm actually gonna add more dirt to her enclosure because, yeah, she, she needs more space to burrow. But she is being upgraded actually. She's gonna be getting a bigger cage, which I think I'm gonna grab at the pet store. I'm actually going to get a five gallon because this is like a three gallon. I'll grab her a five gallon like tank and I'll put it right here because that's what Precious is in. Precious is in a five. Yeah, Precious is in a five gallon. So what I'm going to do 
is actually you know what maybe I should just upgrade precious into a taller tank like everybody else actually I think I want to redo this so precious is probably gonna be upgraded and then I'm gonna take precious's tank and use it for our girl here Wednesday because when precious is cage Hers is a slide screen, but it has these little keyholes, which I have all the little pins in my drawer. So, yeah. Her cage is a, a five-gallon. I have her over here for right this second because I got to put her up on a, a table, but she, I just moved everyone temporary because Clary's now up there and Morticia's right there. Right, of course, there's Bella. There's my blue skink. Like these guys are. I'm I'm in the middle of redoing the room, so don't worry. Precious ain't staying right here. But actually, you know what? I should order her a tall tank, and then just use this one for our girl Wednesday over there, who's getting really big because, as you see, it's a slide lock, and I have the key for it, which I will order. Actually, I'll order it Sunday because I get paid Sunday, so I will definitely order that. So, this cage will be going to our girl Wednesday, and then we're going to get a tall tank for our precious to be upgraded just like everybody else. I think that's pretty cool over there. Now I can definitely see Clary. Now you can see her tall tank. <laughs> it looks small from way back, but it's actually not a small tank. It's a nice size tank. Into a close up. I don't even know what Clary is. It's a nice deep tank, too. It's not small. It's a nice, these are nice sized tanks. But. But yeah, she has a nice size cage. Like, these cages are nice. They might look a certain way on camera, but they're actually a really nice tank. But anyways, but yeah, I'm gonna give this one to Wednesday, cause that's a that's a five gallon, cause this is the, cause it, I think this is like the two, this is a two gallon that Chestnut's in. Chestnut will be on GB upgrade, but as you see, Wednesday's getting pretty big. Of course, always there's always a glare in my freaking room, and then. And then this cage, I will, um, I will give this cage to Chestnut. Chestnut will be transferred into this one because it's bigger. And then in this one, I think I'm going to put Autumn in that one. And then I'm going to put Viper into Autumn's. I'm going to be flip-flopping everyone around because we're the little munchkin girl. Hold on, I'm not gonna find them. They're squished up against the. Oh, it moved. I'll be damned. Viper actually moved. Viper's like, I'm out of here. So, Viper actually moved from its spot. It was it got squished against the side because it's all pissed off that I took it out of the little sling pot. And I don't know where they went. But don't worry, they're in the enclosure. They're in, definitely in here. I saw them earlier. So don't worry, they're not lost. I just made a little jungle for it though. Because in the little sling pot, it was, it made anchoring points off of everything in there into like one big cobweb. But anyways, they're gonna be upgraded. And then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Night Fury into here because Night Fury, my darling Night Fury. Oh, Night Fury actually went back into its hide. But Night Fury is actually a lot bigger. I can't believe how big Night Fury has gotten. Night Fury is actually big enough to put into here now. I got it over, oh my god, only like two weeks ago. It was like this really tiny little, teeny tiny little sling. But now it's like, boom, it bulked up real quick. So, Night Fury would go in here. So, I'm going to be flip-flopping everyone around. I know. Autumn's gonna be happy being moved. 
and I actually moved I just did a transfer Phoenix is now in a different enclosure so we'll grab Phoenix hold on I gotta grab Phoenix's cage I just changed um I just changed Phoenix because Phoenix was up there but the avicular that I got I end up sticking in a critter keeper but the thing is Phoenix is terrestrial so what I did was I switched them around so Phoenix is now in somewhere in here I made a lot of burrow points because a lot of terrestrials are burrowers so this they actually have one of these in here one of the little tiny heights but I covered up with dirt as you see and I made a bunch of spots for them to burrow and crawl down into like it was up top I can't I don't know where they Phoenix is somewhere in there but Phoenix is now in the proper cage and I actually stuck Moonbin hold on I'll get Moonbin Moonbin's actually right here because I'm not gonna sit there and keep a vicular in a terrestrial cage. I was just trying to fit because if you guys would have seen the picture that I saw online and the size they were supposed to be, because that was only <laughs> supposed to be a tiny baby sling with these beautiful yellow legs and like it looks so cute. And I was like, oh my goodness, so finally a baby vicular because I wanted a baby because the babies are really beautiful. Don't get me wrong, I ain't. Love my spider that they sent me. I love my little moon bin. Bless you, Lily. Lily is very sneezy today. A lot of sodium buildup, huh? Yes, they, they sneeze out extra sodium that they produce in their bodies. Weird little thing about iguanas. But that's why they sneeze a lot. Don't worry, I just watered the bottom of her cage. Like, I'm trying to get her humidity up in her cage. It's down a little bit, so. I watered down the bottom of her enclosure. And I changed the bulb to make it warmer. She's in there basking. She's having a good around time. But anyways. Squirrel moment. But Moon Bin was supposed to be this itty bitty little thing. And they sent me one this size. Which, you know, it's okay. I was trying to raise one from a teeny, teeny baby. Uh, like Sunfire. So Sunfire is just this tiny little sling. I don't know if you can see it. Like, I can't even get it on camera. As you can see, right up here is Sunfire. You can see the tiny little legs. It's, my camera doesn't like to always focus properly. Let's see if I can get to focus. But right in there is Sunfire. Sunfire is obviously this tiny little thing. That's my pumpkin patch sling. Obviously, see, I have a theme going with my tarantulas. I like to make a jungle, like, natural type theme for them. I had bigger holes in here because the sling that was originally in there like was obviously getting bigger the sapphire was in here and then I had bigger holes because this was being too moist and I wanted to dry out more but as you see the fruit flies were starting to come out of some of the holes so I had to cover it up but trust me there's plenty of pinholes in there but yeah sapphire is a tiny little thing sauna is a tiny little baby this was supposed to be a tiny little baby, but they didn't give me a tiny baby. So I redid the enclosure for more setup for Vicular. It liked that. It liked this plant that was in the enclosure with it. So I transferred the plant, the fake plant, in here with it because for one, Moonbin didn't want to let go of it at first. So I just transferred Moonbin on the plant. And it's a nice, nice enclosure. Like, it's nice and big. Like, you have plenty of space to grow in here until I get one of those. Because I was going to buy one of those. And I was like, you know what? Phoenix is in here. Phoenix is in the wrong enclosure. Because I stuck the... I'm not going to lie. I messed up. I stuck the wrong tarantula in here. So I was trying to stick one of the Aerobora ones in here. And I accidentally grabbed Phoenix at the time. When I wasn't trying to put Phoenix even in here. Because Phoenix is a uh, pink salmon bird eaters. Which they are terrestrial. So. And they love to burrow. They really love to burrow. 
So it worked anyways because I had the dirt high. I scooped some of the dirt out and I put it piled up in there for Phoenix so Phoenix can dig down more. I'm going to add more dirt for Phoenix. Phoenix is over here. I don't know why I'm pointing over there, but Phoenix is down there. But yeah, I'm going to put more dirt in. But I'm about to change everybody around. This room is beginning to change around slowly. As you see, this rack is now my tarantula rack because our girl, Wednesday, she ran. Really? She has a nice burrow tunnel system in here. I'm going to hate to mess it up. But her cage is too blah. And But that's kind of Wednesday's fault because her plant she killed. And then I put a fake plant in here and it's somewhere underneath <laughs> the dirt. So I'm going to redo Wednesday's cage because Wednesday's not staying in here. So, when her, when Precious's cage comes, and I transfer Precious into the nice tall tank, because Precious has to be upgraded, Precious is growing too much, so Precious is definitely going into a way bigger cage. It looks like it's going to rain outside. It's been raining for the past two weeks. We have not even hit summer yet here. It's still 60 degrees out. This is ridiculous. But once I get Precious's cage, new cage, and I'm going to get everything done up for Precious, which she is going to love. I can't wait to see her climbing in her new cage. She's going to love it. I love the, I love those tall tanks. Like, I really love them. And she's going to love it. She's going to be upgraded. So I'm going to upgrade her, and then I'm going to upgrade Wednesday. Everyone's being upgraded. Everything's going to be switched around. But I can't wait to change everybody. Because Wednesday's being upgraded. And then we're just going to take Autumn and put Autumn in here a while. And then we're going to take Viper and put Viper in that one. Because Viper is getting big quick. And then Night Fury is going to go into there. So everyone's being upgraded slowly. So I'm super excited. I wish I could show you guys my Trinidad pink. But that little thing oh my god it's so tiny it's ridiculous the one i got too big movement was too big and now sauna is this tiny little dot it's no better than sky where's sky at that's jade winter it should be sky since i can't show you my trinidad pink because it's blending in with everything it's it's like, actually it's smaller than Sky. Yeah, it's smaller than Sky. This is the size of Sky. Sky is tiny, but my Trinidad Pink Sana is really, really tiny. It's no better than the baby Arizona Blondie. And that thing's a tiny little pin thing too. I wonder if I can locate it in here. Yeah, I guess I see it darting around every now and then. Ever since I got it. The problem is it blends in because <laughs> it matches the plant because it has little yellow legs and then its body, the carapace and everything and the abdomen, like, it's all like, um, well, it's kind of light but kind of not, like, it's kind of a, it's like black and yellow, so it's hard to see this thing. It's so cute though, it's so cute. I can't wait till it gets bigger, but it's so hard to find it. Every now and then I'll find it on top of the lid. I swear, as soon as it sees me, it darts off. Or it sees my shadows, it's, it bolts. It's like I'm out of here. But I just wish I could find it. I wish I could open the lid, but stupid me, I didn't film at first. I wanted to feed them right away. So there's a whole bunch of fruit flies in here. So I gotta wait until they all die or get eaten before I can shuffle around in here and look for Teeny Weeny. That's what I should name it. I should name it Teeny Weeny, but then it's not gonna stay Teeny Weeny. And then I'm just gonna look stupid calling it Teeny Weeny when it gets like five, six inches. Because unfortunately, actually no, I think the biggest they get is three to four inches because it is a dwarf species, that's right. Because the Trinidad Pink, the Trinidad Chevron, and the Trinidad Olive are 
kind of like true spiders. They are kind of a dwarf species. That's why I got them. Which is so cute. They, they stay tiny. Well, not teeny, teeny, but they stay small and not for a typical tarantula species. Let's see if Summer's out. Summer is my teeny, teeny, teeny Arizona blondie that just won't grow for some reason. It was out earlier walking around. If I could show you Summer, then you'll see the size of Sana. Because they're both really freaking tiny. I've had this thing for a while and it's... It eats really good. It's been molting and it just doesn't want to grow. I don't see it. It's not out right now. Which sucks. I wish winter would grow faster too. Cause winter is one of my first original slings that I got because I got my Texas tans, both of them at the same time. Cause I also got the curly hair sling right around the same time too. And as you see, Autumn got a big, a quick. Which I'm glad. I'm glad Autumn is doing beautifully. I still have, of course. And then we got MJ. MJ's mad at me still. MJ's not a happy spider. He didn't like the fact that I moved their enclosure. But I think I did it. It's an enclosure really cute. I think it's a cute setup for a tarantula. They were hugging the plant earlier. Where'd they go? They're not on the plant anymore. It was just sitting here hugging the plant. Like, it looked like it was about to fall off. It was so cute. It was just, there they are. There they are. There's MJ. But it's loving its little tunnels and everything. Basil, are we having allergies today, girlfriend? They're going for a walk this weekend. Aren't you beautiful? She was like, let me eat. Another one that's down there being fat and lazy is sunbathing. I had them out for a little bit last night, but I didn't film them. Oh, we are molting. Look at the bum. It is so bare. So bare. So, obviously, our beautiful Mexican Renny is about to molt. Because its bum is so bald and it's so dull. Because normally their, their abdomen is pure black. Like mine is pure black. And the coloration is so dull. So soon we are going to witness this one molting. Which I'm really excited for. So I see in no time this one's definitely going to be upgraded quickly too. I'm so excited. I love when they molt. Because afterwards, they look so gorgeous. The colors are just so vibrant and beautiful. And it just, bam. Oh, my goodness. So pretty, so pretty. Just like with the iguanas. When they shed, because actually, this one's in the middle of shedding. Right, Lily? She has an attitude. She gets so feisty when she sheds. She is not a happy shedder. Are we, girlfriend? <laughs> She's mad. I gave her a bath earlier <laughs> to get a lot of that shed off, and she's still mad at me. Her foot is like really got that shed stuck. So I'm probably gonna soak her feet later, which is gonna piss her off too, but it's okay. She'll be happy afterwards. Right, BB? Hi! What's you doing? Are you eating? Is that yummy? Is that yummy? She's like, leave me alone. Avery! What you doing, my little fatty? Are you bathing? We sunbathing in our little lamp. She's like, leave me alone. Don't worry, these cage rows are only temporary. I'm still trying to find a cage for Avery. I have not found one I liked. And I gotta find one that she can't get out of too. Because this is the problem with Avery. Avery destroys her cages and Avery is quite strong. The only reason she's in that cage is because, if no one's seen my other videos, she was supposed to have that cage as an outdoor backyard cage, but she was dumped on my doorstep in the middle of the night because there's another lady on our street that actually rescues animals, especially reptiles, and someone got the wrong house. Luckily, <laughs> thank God, by miracle, I just got home that day with Avery's outdoor cage, and 
I had to quickly defrost this one because it was freaking cold. Why would you leave a guano on someone's doorstep late at night? I don't understand, especially in the middle of winter. Pissed me off. But, yeah, the person was moving. They couldn't take her with, and they dumped her on my doorstep. But luckily, I just got home that day with Avery's outdoor cage that I was supposed to have for the summer for her to sit out and chop back while I sunbathed. She sunbathed with me, but it didn't work out that way. But, luckily, Avery fits in that cage for right now. So, I redid the cage, shoved Lily in this cage, got all nice warmed up. So, that's why Lily now has this cage and Avery's in that one. Oh, because some idiot didn't get the right house on dumping the, the tarantula, the iguana off to the wrong house. I'm saying tarantula because I'm staring at that one right there. Because I'm staring also, I don't know what chestnut did, but there goes that plant. Man, don't ever, live plants do not work in tarantula cages. I'll tell you what. So far, the only one that's working out is this one. It's Divicularis. Raven is loving this tree. And it's not actually doing very well. Let's knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, hopefully she don't destroy that. But everyone else has fake plants because you can't trust tarantulas. See, no, we cannot trust them. There's my no. GDD. so cute and fuzzy. I can't wait to upgrade everybody. I can't wait till I'm done finishing up this room. I guess this is going to be a vicular rack, so I actually got to get this cage up over here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all the vicularis over here. Or I might just make this like the arboreal rack and put all the arboreals over here. So, so yeah, they might go over there and then my other, my two Antilles, when they get into their cages like this, I'm just gonna line them all up. But I'm getting a whole rack system, different rack system for over there anyways. And I got all my tarantulas on these shelves. I don't see anybody out right now. The only one out is, I think it's MJ. Put Night Fairy back up here. I'm hoping Night Fairy will pop up. I doubt it. Autumn was out hunting not too long ago. Let's add a little crickets in here. Let's see who we got. Posey is still in its burrow. Yeah. Posey's been making new webs since I put them in here. This is my other pink toe. Tarantula. I'm gonna add more dirt also to Posey's cage because Pozo is also a burrower and this is all this little stuff from its little sink plot pot it was in because it webbed everything up the fake plants and the moss. Oh, there's a cricket right there still. That's from last night's feeding. And I gotta try to chase it into Posey's little den. Posey's like right in the middle there. But I think I'm going to put some more branches in here. Or I'm going to get some. Actually, I'm going to get more bark and stuff and make it a nice den area. And then add some more dirt so they can really burrow. So I think I'm going to end up doing that sometime later on today. So I'm going to be fixing up some cages. Working on the room some more. Because everyone's being transferred and changed around and fixed up. So this whole room's slowly getting redone little by little. To how I actually want everything to be. Look at my beautiful fish. It's all pretty. I just did their tank not too long ago. So it's kind of a little bit clouded a little bit still. But the water's clearing up real good. Changed the filter and everything. But my fish are looking beautiful and happy like always. Which they probably want fed. Looks like they want fed. Hi guys. Pretty little tetras. Alright, I'm going to feed the fish and I'm going to finish working on some other projects. And I will catch up with you guys a little bit later on tonight. Say bye. Here is the monstrosity, Avery.
Don't worry, she might act up in her cage all day, but this is what she does at night, guys. Don't think my guana does not come out of that damn cage. She is spoiled. She does come out. I'm waiting for Lily to come out. Lily, Lily's picky. She comes out sometimes. Why are you looking that for, you ding ding? Avery! Avery! What are you doing? Don't climb on that. Did she? <laughs> See something else. This is why I wait till the lamps are turned off and I have to pull them down because she will drag them down, like literally drag them down. And as you see, I have to move like certain tarantula cages so she don't knock them over because the way she climbs, don't worry, they are safe and sound. They're right next to my bed. I keep an eye on everyone's cages. I have to keep an eye on that one in the middle because I don't trust the ding dong. They're tucked in the corners. She shouldn't pull them down. She normally doesn't climb up that way she'll explore to like about here and then she'll come down i don't know i don't know what she's gonna do tonight she has different patterns and different ways she likes to go i switched off their heat lamps and i put on the um uvb lights because the uvb lights obviously aren't hot like their basking lamps but I always wait until the lamps are cooled down because these two like to climb over them. As you see, Avery's just over there licking hers. What are you, what are you doing? That's not a lollipop, you ding dong. I'm waiting for the damn uh, like, one that electrocutes herself. Avery, stop licking that. Here comes Lily. You on the attack. Oh, here goes these two. I hope they don't. Avery, don't. I have to watch it with them too because these two act up. Hi, Lily. I know they'd be seeing each other. They're in the cages next to each other, so it's not like they don't know each other. And I take them for walks together. It's just having them out together sometimes can be, it can go either or with these two. Are you talking to Lily? See, Lily would go back in her cage if she feels a certain way. These two don't fight. I'm trying to get them accustomed and used to each other more. But I keep a close eye on them. I keep their cage doors open. Because as you see what Lily does. If she starts feeling a certain type of way. See she'll. Sometimes she will go back in her house. But she'll end up going somewhere else. I wonder if she's going to. See, the thing is, she can't go in the window like she used to. I actually have an AC unit in there. I covered that hole, so hopefully. <laughs> Avery, are you communicating with Lily? You gonna be nice today? Avery can be pretty territorial, because she was here first. See, the problem is with Lily, I don't trust where she goes sometimes because she will go over where the tarantulas are and see i gotta make sure that tarantula cages don't get pulled down so hold on i gotta make sure she don't pull none of them down i was gonna name this one moonpin but i don't think it really fits its name so i'm gonna name this one salem and the next one i'm getting i'm gonna name moonbin because i'm getting a green bottle blue they just posted uh they have 81 slings for sale on the website and I'm getting some on Sunday I'm sure the, and it's right now it's already Friday so I know for sure they will definitely still have some so we're gonna name this one Salem and Moonbin is coming on Tuesday of next week because yeah, if I put the order in Sunday then yeah what is these two's doing I'm waiting for Avery to move. That way I can get in 
Because when they're out, this is... I like to clean their cages when they're out and about. But first, I gotta make sure they settle down somewhere before I go in and just clean their cages. Because I gotta make sure they don't destroy things before I go into the cages. Because they used to really like to get into stuff. <laughs> Rain is like, what is going on? Rain's like, I wanna come out and play too. Rain, I'll bring you out later. Of course, they are hungry. They need fed. It is feeding day. <laughs> There's a little cricket running by. And Rain is like, wait a minute, where'd it go? Avery, where are you going? And here comes my monstrosity. What you doing, baby? I gotta clean your cages. You destroyed yours. I've been taking their plants out because um, these two have destroyed their plants that I got them. Obviously, that's nothing new with these two. So, I'm going to be getting new plants for their cages this week. I knew it. I knew Lily would go in the damn window. She don't care if the AC unit's there or not. Lily, what are you doing? I put a towel up there for her. She messed it up the last time. I'll put another towel up there. Avery, where are you going? This is Avery's area. Her territory is over here. As long as Lily don't mess around over in this area, it's okay. Because Avery has definitely clean, and that's her bed right there. She sleeps underneath there. But this is Avery's spot of the room, and Lily's room spot is like over in this area. She likes to go over on this side, and Avery likes to go up over on this side. And she really loves the window. She really likes to watch out the window. What she's doing right now. That's why I wanted to bring them out early. Because it's still sunlight. And I think it would be good for Lily to be able to look out the window while the sun's still coming out. So I kind of turned off the cages a little early for the girls. Because it's only 6 o'clock. She don't see you, Ave. Avery's still over here trying to communicate with Lily. Just Bobbing. See you, see you, lovey. She's busy in the window. Why don't you go play in your spot so I can clean the cages? Will you stop licking the lamps? Or do you have a fetish for electrical cords? Are you like the cat? Are we the cat now? Yeah. We are. We like that fur ball downstairs. My cat's weird. She don't like to leave the basement. Ever since we got the dog, she will not come out of that basement. So we have a cat that just lives in the basement thanks to the dog. I'm just cleaning Lily's cage. I need to clean her cage. I'm not Lily. Don't give me that. She keeps looking at me and bobbing. Like, I'm going to do something. I need to clean cages. Whatever I don't feed to the crickets, we have these rabbits outside. So I feed the rest of the lettuce to the rabbits. And make sure nothing goes to waste. Yeah? You agree? I agree, too. I think so, too. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I feed the rest of your lettuce to the rabbits because they really like it. And I feel bad for them because our poor dog won't let them in the backyard anymore. She chases them away and tries to eat them, so. Hi, what you doing? Head bobbing. Be careful, noodle head. Normally I turn their lights off, but since I gotta clean their cages, I gotta leave the lights on. So I'm gonna go clean their cages real quick and then I think Lily's in her spot for the evening. Yeah, she's chilling for the evening. She's in her spot already. You need to find your spot because mommy needs to clean the cages. And please do not go up where the tarantulas are. Lily's picked a good spot because I can easily grab her for when it comes to bedtime. This one, on the other hand, can you not chase Lily from her spot? Are you going to be in one of those moods? Avery can be bossy. Are you going to be bossy tonight? Are you going to push her around? Avery's like the dominant one because she's like, this is my room. Oh, I forgot to take down that glass jar. Oh, my goodness. All right, I got to grab this real quick. I'm going to clean her cages, and then we're going to see where they are in a couple minutes. And there goes Lily adventuring away. So far I got her cage clean. I'm in the middle of cleaning Avery's cage, but 
I just wanted to show you guys where these two are at so far. Mm. Mine's got indigestion. I just ate some garlic potatoes. You know, garlic's good for you. But you done, Lily. This is why I pull everything down. Oh my goodness, the indigestion. Wait. Lily, she actually pooped on top of Shiva's cage. Thank God Shiva burrows at night. I'm glad I didn't go the whole way down on the bed either. Luckily, I got her, I moved her and cleaned the cage in time before it dripped down into the actual cage. Thank God for that, because that would have been quite upsetting if I had to redo Shiva's whole cage. Right, Nasty? You poop pooped everywhere. She don't care. She's like, yeah, Ian. Are you going to take Avery's spot tonight? Is that what you're doing? Come here, Lily. Come on. I'm going to move this bag because I don't need you getting startled over a bag. Come here. I hear your sister moving. She's on the move. I'm going to have to get special shelving units. Yeah, I still didn't pull down that glass bottle. I didn't want to startle her and push the cages off. Because even though they are glass, dirty cages, but don't get it messed up. These girls are very powerful when they do push off and kick things. As you see, I had to move coconut because Lily over here <coughs> jumped on top of coconut's cage. And I didn't need it tipped over, so coconut's down here right this second. And I had to move Viper, because Viper was in a tiny little cage, and Viper did almost get knocked over. So, Viper got moved. Everyone's getting moved. Lily, come here. Come here, Lily. As you see, I'm in the middle of cleaning the girls' cages. I pulled their food bowls out. So far, I got Lily's all nice and clean. I reset everything up in her cage. So, we got clean. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. Are you okay, Rain? Rain scared the hell out of Avery. <laughs> oh, Rain, Rain was on. She jumped up top of there and pushed her nose up and scared Avery. This is why I said I gotta put. There were shelving units up here, but as you see, she all but knocked everything over here over. <laughs> it's alright, right? Okay, right, let's move this stuff. What happened, honey? Oh, Rain. Rain just wants to play, Avery. Be nice. Why can't you be nice? They just want to play, too. They're babies. Be nice to the baby geckos. I gotta feed. They're hungry. So every movement they're checking out right now. It's not like they're starving hungry, because trust me, everyone knows how often I feed my animals, which is quite often. But she sees movement, so she thinks it's a cricket on top. She's still getting used to... <laughs> she's still getting used to her climbing up there. <laughs> it's never a dull moment in my room. As you see, I got a cluttered mess on my floor because I keep having to pull everything down off shelves and everything else because of the girls. Are you okay, Viper? You poor little thing almost got knocked onto the floor. Thank God I caught you in time. I did. I caught it. <laughs> Dang it. It's uh, tilted sideways. And luckily, the poles right here blocked poor Viper from falling, which I don't need any slings loose. Oh, shit. <laughs> You climbed down here pretty fast. Where are you heading off to? I'm gonna put Viper over here because it's just safer. I put Viper on top of Precious's cage. Where are you going? Can you stay away from Avery? Because she, she's obviously jumpy right now. Avery, get down here. Luckily, the Vicularis can't bite through the top of the cages. Cause that was what made me nervous at first is I'm getting bit through but 
I've had her uh, out with pumpkin being like on the top. Normally pumpkin just runs off because you know it's an invader, but Letty, what are you doing? Come on, Eve. Come on, do your little sliding. Oh, what was that? That was laziness. Come on. It's only rain in the cage. You're okay. Ugh, you two are a mess. My girls are such a mess, I swear. Hello, Lily. Hi. Who are you heading off to? Don't jump on top of the cages. I'm gonna have to move Salem. You guys are just making me rearrange my whole room again. Where are you going, Lily? Can you not climb down where the tarantulas are? Like, I put them all down there for a reason. You're supposed to be going upwards, not down. Hi. Look how long her tail is getting. She is getting big. I'm gonna check out her foot. Yeah, the top part's about to shut off. I think it's good that I gave her that bath earlier. Got a lot of shit off her back. I've been feeding them a lot of squash, peppers, and strawberries lately. They've been loving it. Avery, jump down. Are you scared? <laughs> Poor Rain. Are you having a standoff with Rain? Come on. Come on, Avery. Let's go. Lily, I don't have the bottom part of your cage open today. I only did the top part. And sometimes I open the bottom and the top so she can get in both ways. Are you serious? Blink. Ding dong. I try to help them all around the room. Such knuckleheads. I gotta write in my my book. This ain't the right book. I don't think I have anything. I always make a list of all my tarantulas and reptiles names when I get them because I have a list of all the animals I have and this book this book doesn't have it listed ah no it has the list of the next animals I want to buy that's right I got a Trinidad pink so we'll cross that off I was about to get a Mexican, um, what was that? A Mexican golden red rump or something like that. I put it on my list, but they sold out. Oh, look, we finally got the pumpkin patch. That can come off here. I got the baby pink, pink toe. Don't worry, they're just over here messing around. Um, I got the Antilles already. What are you two doing? Are you going to jump? Fly, Lily, fly. Well, come on. But if you're going to push off your lamps. I'm going to turn the lights off. Because I don't need her breaking the bulbs. 